listen, we just got you back. I knew a lot of your grandfathers, great grandfathers, a lot of them. They were great people. We're going to talk about you again. We're going to get you out and see some good families. Okay? You ready? You excited? I am too. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Live from M60 RV right here in Jones, Michigan. Right there is M60, and right here we have the RV, so we keep it pretty simple. Okay, we wanted to show you something that we just got in. It is a 2024 40E Berkshire XL. And let me tell you something, we are like peaches and herbs. This was something at the last dealership that we were at that built us in order to get bought. And we're reunited and we're so happy and it feels so good. Okay, so the 4E, you might say, hey, what does the E stand for? Well, it stands for everything you're gonna need in a motorhome. Okay, so let's just take a look around here. Let's start here in the front. First of all, you got your Berkshire, which is the full body paint all the way throughout the coach. That way it's gonna help protect your coach from getting any uh, fading or whatever it may be. You got the nice one piece automotive windshield in the front so that way you can see this beautiful country of ours when you're out traveling around, okay? And you do have the protective film all along the front so that way it'll prevent you from getting your rock chips and different things of that nature, okay? So first of all, what we're gonna show you this first compartment right here, this is where you fill your windshield wiper fluid. And it'll also tell you where all your fuses are for your chassis, okay? Then you have this little button right here, or lever. You just pull this little lever, okay? Then in the front, you have your 10,000 watt owning generator, okay? What's that gonna do for you? It's gonna run everything inside of your coach for you right off of your fuel line. This will allow you to run your generator until you get it down to about a quarter of a tank and then it won't allow you to run it so that way you don't run out of fuel. You do have the slide out tray here which makes it very easy to work on, okay? And another nice feature is, say for example, you wanna clean your windshield. You can pull this out, stand on this, clean your windshield. So it's dual purpose for you, okay? So we come on around here. You do have 100 gallons of fuel on this, which you do have dual side fill. So you can fill on either side of the coach, whether it be the passenger side or the driver's side. You have the 22 and a half inch Michelin tires with the aluminum rims. So it's gonna give you a real nice smooth ride. With the Freightliner chassis, it is all air ride. We don't have it started right now, but once you start this coach, it's gonna raise up say approximately four inches, okay? So the air ride will give you a really nice smooth ride. What does the diesel do for you? If you've ever had a gas motor on when a truck goes by, you know how you kind of get sucked in and pushed out when the truck goes away? With this, you're not gonna have that, okay? In our first compartment, we have some shelves right here so that we can put some tools or whatever it is you may be. You're on the Freightliner raised rail chassis. So what does the raised rail mean? Normally on your gas motor home, you'll have a little hump right here because that's where your rail is. Your rail here, as you can see, is up. Okay, so that way you have the full pass through. Then you do have your slide out tray. So that way if you need to get to some stuff or say for example, if you've upset your spouse or your significant other and you need a place to sleep, this is a great place to do it. It is a heated underbelly, so if it's in cold weather, you will stay warm, okay? So there you've got the pass through tray. Here you have another full pass through, okay? And there's your mud flap for you. You do have the Dirt Devil Central Vac in this one for you as well. Okay, so look at how much stuff you can put in there. Whenever you're out seeing this great country of ours, you're gonna put in some souvenirs, you're gonna put your lawn chairs, your firewood, your fishing poles, your golf clubs, whatever it may be, you can put it all in there. Your outside grill, you got plenty of room to do it. Okay, then here you have your aqua hot. What the aqua hot will do for you is number one, it gives you instant hot water, but it'll also heat the coach for you as well too. It gives you a much cooler, more even type of heating for the zones. Okay, here you have your water area. Okay, you have 100 gallons of fresh, 66 gallons of gray, and 42 gallons of black. The fresh water is what you drink, the gray water is what comes out of your sinks and your shower, and the black water is what comes from your stool. Okay, another nice thing that I like to point out on this, this has what we call the water banana block system. Say for example, you're out and about and a water leak happens to come about. As opposed to having to shut down the whole coach, like you used to have in the old days, say if it's just in the kitchen sink area and it's just on the hot side, you can just shut it off right here 
and that way it'll stop the leak till you get to your destination. So you got your hot shutoffs on this side and the cold shutoffs on that side. A whole house water filtration system. Okay, you have your outside shower. So if you want to stand out here, clean off your feet after you've done some hiking, some boating, whatever it may be, you can clean up right there. Okay, then this will tell you exactly what you're going to do here. Okay, if you want to sanitize, you winterize your system, you do it here. Run off the city water connection here, or if you just want to fill the fresh water tank, you can do it there. This is your black water tank flush. Okay, where you just hook your water hose up to that and then that will go and clean out your black water tank so you don't get any false readings. Here's where you have the city water connection right here. This will tell you if your tank heat is activated. Okay, because you do, if you're out in the cold weather, you can turn on your, your hot water, your, your heated holding tanks, that way you don't freeze up. Okay, so we'll come on just a little further back. Here's where we have the DEF, which you have 13 gallons of that. There's where you can store your sewer hose right there for you. You can also see the hydraulic leveling system. Which you have four pads all throughout, and the, two in the front and two in the back. So that way it'll stabilize you when you're out to your campsite or if you're out just in the wilderness. Here's your batteries for you, okay? But you do have the battery shut off, so that way if you're not using them, you can just turn it to off and that way you're not gonna drain your batteries for you, okay? Then back here. So where we have our inverter you know we also have our power cord reel it's a 50 amp service you do have three air conditioners on this particular coach so that way the 50 amp can handle everything for you as well too you can still plug into 30 amp if you want you just have to get a reducer okay so you got it right there then we come to the back back here is where you have your engine okay and the diesel engine is always in the back so that way they call it a diesel pusher you have 380 horsepower with 1150 foot pounds of torque plenty of power to get and see this great country of ours wherever it may be that you want to go okay you do have a 15,000 pound hitch on the back with your seven-way plug right there so that way if you want to tow your vehicle you want to tow a trailer whatever it may be you can do it there okay then back here you have your backup camera so that way when you turn on your turn signal or i'm sorry when you're backing up it'll show you what uh, is back here so that way it makes it easier for you to get into your parking space and also if you're traveling if you have your toe in your car you're able to see it if you happen to look in the backup camera and your car's not there you might want to turn around and then go and see if you can find it you do have a one-piece fiberglass roof up on the top which mr cameraman with your extended legs can see up there you got your three air conditioners you've got your solar panel up on the top too so if you want to get out uh, in the country itself and just dry camp you can do it from the solar okay you got your Wi-Fi connector up there your TV antenna so that way you got up on the roof hopefully you saw everything there I don't know if mr. cameraman was quite tall enough but we'll find out okay one thing which we'll point out to you when you get up in the front, you do have side mounted cameras on this coach too. So when you turn on your turn signals, it'll show you down that side of the coach. So that way you don't have a blind spot there for you. Okay, and that's on either the left or the right. Here's where you can fill your oil right here for you. Check your power steering fluid. They made it a lot easier, much more accessible than what it used to be. And there's your battery switch for you too as well. Okay. So we come on around here. And here we have our hydraulics and another place you can store store some stuff right there. Okay, you can see on this side we have the full wall slide. Another nice thing you'll see on each slide, you do have the slide topper. So what does the slide topper do for you? When you're taking out your slide, it'll come, the slide will come out and it'll protect the top of your slide so that we don't get any debris or whatever it may be up on the top for you. Okay. And here's where you have access to your water get your water tank your fresh water tank is right there and then the gray and the black are behind there some of the other side of your storage i mean just look at all that storage in there i mean that's just incredible you can get a lot of stuff in there okay so here you have your 18 foot awning and what you'll notice is the awning itself is on the slide it's not on the actual roof so that way when the slide comes out you're not going to be losing part of that awning that slide the awning will come out with the slide so that way you still have the full 18 foot and you got a nice little patio right here that at the end of the day you can sit and talk about all the great memories you had and the great things that are out here and just enjoy life okay 
Then here, one thing you'll notice, all the windows are the frameless windows. Two things that does for you. Number one, it's protecting your seal. If you remember in the old days, your seals would get discolored and different things of that nature. It's not gonna do that, it's covered here. Plus your windows will open up out this way, so that way if it's raining, you can still have your windows open and get some nice airflow, listen to the rain, whatever it may be. Okay, plus it gives you a real nice, clean look. Then here, at the end of the day, maybe you wanna watch the football game, you wanna watch the race, Want to watch a soap opera? I don't know, whatever it is you want to watch, you can do it right here. Put your chairs out here underneath your awning. And again, just commemorate and talk and about your family and how great stuff is. Here you have for your outside stereo, which is the Bluetooth capable. Okay, again, storage there. Again, storage here with your slide up <coughs> rack, which does slide out on either side. Okay, and that's for your outside back right there, and then you have for your uh, outside shower. Okay, now nice thing too on the diesels, you do have the ability in the front, say for example, you get a low tire or whatever it may be, you can go right off of the air chuck in the front, fill up your tire, blow up a raft, whatever you wanna do, okay? And again here, you have some more shelving. There's some extra tiles that you have for your flooring that you'll notice once we get inside, okay? And again, right, here, you see that there, that's your side mounted camera. Okay, so that's when you turn your turn signal on, you'll be able to see down there. And again, yeah, I mentioned it earlier, but this is your diamond shield that's on the front, and it also protects your steps right here. You do have the keyless entry right here, so if you forget your keys, you can just go in right there. Again, the other side of the fuel, fuel fill. This is another nice thing Forest River does for you. It's the care camps. They're fighting cancer and making memories. So the kids out there, every coach that you buy, they'll donate to these care camps. So that way the kids are out there and have a week to just get away and know about everything. It's just a great little feature. Okay, you wanna go inside? Yeah. So as we walk on in, one nice thing I wanna show you, just look at this door right here, just a little thing. Look at how well that door is put together. That's something that you can see, okay? You can actually see that. Okay, so we come into the front. Right here is where we have our battery disconnect, so you can turn your batteries on. Then here, if you wanna turn all of your lights on, you can do it right here. The patio awning to extend it, to retract it is right there. Okay, the door awning, which you have the door awning right above us too as well. The cargo lights you can turn on, and then the aisle lights as well. Okay, so we come on in. We have left the slides in. Why would we leave the slides in? Because I want to show you, look, even with the slides in, you can get to everything inside of this coach. I can get to the refrigerator, I can get to the cooktop, I can get to the microwave, the kitchen sink, the dinette, the couch. Still step back here and watch TV, okay? Come back here, you can still get to the bathroom, okay? This particular coach has two full baths in it, okay? So even with the slide in, we can still get to everything, okay? So even when you're going down the road, this is what happens, okay? So then here, this is where we have our command center, okay? So we touch home. Right here, when you wanna do your lighting, you just hit this button, you can turn on your rear bath lighting, the ceiling, bathroom ceiling lighting, and then the master lights. Then you can go to each compartment, the bedroom, the bath, the kitchen, the sofa, the living room, and the entry. Okay, so you got access to everything there. Okay, this here is for your levels. This is gonna tell you right now, our fresh water tank, we have nothing. Our gray water tank, we have nothing. Our black water tank, we have nothing. And it also tells you the temperature, okay? This will also tell you what our coach battery levels are at. We've got our generator running, so it's gonna be a full charge. And then for your chassis batteries right there, okay? Then your slides. Okay, we're inside, we've gotten to our destination, we've unhooked everything. What's another nice thing about a motorhome as opposed to a travel trailer or fifth wheel? Let's say for example, it's raining. Okay, you get to your destination, park this vehicle, turn your generator on, just wait for it to stop raining to unhook everything. Okay, so it makes it very easy. So here we've got our kitchen. So here it's telling us we wanna put the kitchen slide out. So we just hold this button. This is the magic of the slides. So what, look how much more room we have once this is out. So here we've got the kitchen out. So now we wanna do the bed slide. In our old days, when we were back at another place, we used to break off to the grass growing channel. 
because this is pretty exciting. Okay, so we're putting out the bed slide. Then you also have the bed tilt right here. Okay, so you can tilt your bed up and down right from there. Okay, so now we want to do the sofa and the wardrobe. Now listen to how quiet that is because it's hydraulic. Some of our competitors out there, when you get up to this level, will still use what they call the Schwinn Tech slide system. Okay. We've got the generator running also too as well, so that way we can have the air conditioners running, okay? Okay, so now we've got all the slides out, okay? So here's where we can do the awnings. We wanna do the door awning in and out right here, the patio awning in and out right here, and you can also turn the power off as well, okay? So now we can go here to our electric. This will tell us our power control system. You do have the auto gen start on this as well too. So if you wanna set this for temperature, uh, voltage, whatever it may be, you can set it right here. So that way, if you've got a pup and you're out around seeing this great country or as the pup couldn't go, set it to the temperature. That'll automatically kick the generator on, kick your airs on. So that way it'll keep the coach cool for you. Then for your inverter and your charger, this is where you can do everything right here, the mode you wanna do it, what you're floating or, and then the status, okay? Then here, we're gonna have our utilities. This will tell us what we're doing with our water pump, turn our aqua hot on, our fresh water tank heater, our waste tank heater, our entry step power, the block heater for the engine, the keyless entry, and then the shut down the system itself, okay? Here's where you have the thermostat. You can set it because of three different air conditioners. Remember I told you about, you've got your kitchen air conditioner. You can see it's currently 93 degrees, so it's a little warm, okay? Then we have our bedroom. It's 82 degrees in the bedroom, so it's a little bit cooler, okay? And it's 82 degrees in the living room. So the kitchen, somebody's cooking or doing something. I don't know, okay? So here we have our floor heat. You do have the floor heat in here too as well, okay? Which you have the heated floors. So that way you can turn that on during the winter. If you're out wintering, whatever it may be, you can set it here so that way you can have your floor heated for you, okay? Then here's where you can turn on your fans. You have a fan in the bathroom, and then you have a fan in the rear bath as well. Okay, so there's your control center that you can do everything right there. Okay, did you bring the keys, Mr. Cameraman? Okay, so now we've shown you everything on the inside, shown the control panel, showing you what it's like with the slides in. Okay, so now we're up here in the front. So you turn it on. Now right here, that beeping sound that you hear, this right here, it has the auto leveling on it for you, okay? So here's where you can just turn this on. This is telling us that the ignition's on and we've got our jacks down. So that way it's giving us the warning that we don't wanna take off, okay? So this is where you control your doing. You can do it manually or you can do it auto. You just hit the auto level and it'll automatically level the coach out for you and set it to the correct uh, leveling position. Okay, then right here, you have a little phone charger right here. Okay, so that way you can charge as you're going down. This is your air brake right here. Another important feature I wanted to show you on this coach here, 2024 40E, E standing for everything, 78.2 miles. Why is that important? One of the only places in the country that you can buy a motorhome that has 78.2 miles, under 100 miles. Why is that important? You're going to be the very first person to put the first critical miles on this coach, not somebody who's getting paid to get from here to wherever your destination is, from the greater Michigan area to wherever it is. Did they sleep in it? Did they use the restroom? Did they smoke in it? Did they have their pets in it? I don't know. Those are some important questions. When you ask your salesperson that at the lazy places and some of those worlds and some of those ends, hey, can you show me that coach with under 100 miles? Folks, if you're there, you're gonna be there all day. You might wanna look at maybe getting a flight up here or maybe getting in your car and coming up here to M60 RV. One of the only places you're gonna have it, okay? okay. So here's where you have your nightshade. Here's where you can put this down, okay? Do it right here, okay? Then you also have your sunshade. So if you're driving, you just wanna put it there and bring it all the way down. When you're driving, it won't allow it to go all the way down but when you're not, it will. This is your auxiliary start. 
what the auxiliary start does for you is say for example if you've left your batteries on and you're not able to start the coach you hold this button here this connects your house batteries and your chassis batteries together so that way you can start the coach turn your map light on right here map light for the passenger side turn your fans on right here this is for your air horn turn your radio on this is to start your generator and then this here is for your step cover so as you can see the step cover does for us so when you're driving down the road you don't want your heat hanging down not to show my age but if you remember the maybe the movie lily tomlin was in the chair was a little bit big this here will actually set it there and that way you don't have that this is for your actual air conditioner controls right here and then this is your backup monitor and then your side camera monitor right here as well as your stereo system okay so you have all that right there this is the Freightliner chassis this is where you can control everything right here do your your radio set your cruise whatever it may be you can do it right there okay now both the driver and the passenger seat when you get to your destination they will turn around and make part of the living area okay so now we're here okay we're on the passenger side so what do you have on the passenger side you got your dinette right here okay what's nice about this dinette well a couple things number one look where it's sitting it's sitting on your patio side okay so when you're eating dinner you're not gonna be able to see if the neighbors did anything better you're just gonna be satisfied with what you got because it's the best thing that's available okay this will also break down and make a bed for you okay then you also have your couch right here which will also pull out and make into a bed for you okay then here's your controls for your lighting right here okay then right here we have a place where you can pull out for some plugs right there okay remember I told you about the windows see how the windows open up out that way the old days they called them jealousy windows because the neighbors couldn't open their windows when it was raining but you could okay another nice thing let's look up here okay this right here is another bed system just push this button boom right here you've got another sleeping space you can sleep two more adults you got a tv right up there you got some storage all the way around in the front there for you as well okay then when you're not using this bed just push this button and the bed will go right up for you hear how quiet that is as well too it's not loud like they were in the old days okay so again we're up here in the front here we have our residential refrigerator which has the lock on it yeah see how that works there mr cameraman showed us there okay sometimes you got to be smarter than the refrigerator today the refrigerator won okay then look at that nice big look at all the stuff you can put out there you're going to go out for extended stays might as well have the place to store some stuff okay then down here oh then you have another clip here for your freezer which here will open up you do have an ice maker right in there for you okay you have a nice big place down here store your freezer stuff these are your different trays that go into the side of the refrigerator door itself okay then in this particular one you do have a dishwasher right here okay and you have your induction cooktop right here your convection microwave oven which is residential again you have the controls for your lights right here this is to control your max air fan right here okay so here you have some more storage right there corian countertops all the way throughout nice big farmer sink right there for you look at the depth of that okay real easy for you to clean the dishes so you have your automatic dishwasher and you have your manual dishwasher okay which does have the high-rise faucet with the pull-out sprayer right here okay one thing that's nice that forest river does for you berkshire they give you one year free of roadside assistance which help you on towing fluid delivery tire changes mobile mechanic lockout assistant winching jump starts technical assistance and dealer location services okay here you have a place you can store for your dish rags here you have another tray this is for your whole house water filtration system all your remotes okay here you have some more storage right there see this little rack right there that's where you can put your sink covers nice little place to store your garbage can some more storage right here all hardwood cabinets all the way throughout some more storage right there okay 
some more storage here and there's the control for your satellite and for your stereo system your serious radio okay then back here you have another place where you can get some more extra plugs okay then right here you see this little lever right here just pull that and look what we got some more storage and you also have the safe right in there for you as well okay you do have your sound bar right up here on the top okay this does have the quiet cool system as again i told you three air conditioners but look what do you notice We've got the air conditioner running. We don't have to turn anything up because it's a quiet, cool air system. Soft touch vinyl ceiling is going to make it very easy for you to clean, plus help re reduce the sound. There's your fantastic fan right there. Okay. So if I'm outside and my wife is cooking inside, it's kind of like the old smoke signals. I know that when I see some smoke coming out of there, dinner is ready. Okay. So again, here we have some more storage. Look at all the storage in here, folks there there this is another nice thing when you join up and you buy a forest river for the first year we give you a free membership i'm sorry a free membership all the time to the frog frog what is stand forest river owners group it's just a great great place to get together and talk about the adventures you have and some of the things that you've learned what you can do and can't do with your motorhome or any type of rv again some more storage there okay so then here we have our fireplace okay the fireplace will help you heat just this little area right here so if it's cold weather you don't want to turn your furnace on just kick that on and this will help heat this area for you okay there's for your central vac right there okay and then here we have some pantry space here here i like the white wood look it just makes it look a lot more open and just makes it look a lot cleaner for you as well okay so again, just in the kitchen area, let's do another little fan favorite that people just absolutely love. Okay, let's see how many doors and drawers do I have in just my front little living area here? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 20. 28 doors and drawers in just this front little living area. Go get whatever you want. Bring home something to the family. Show them where you're at, the Grand Canyon, Yellowstone Park, wherever it may be. You can do it. Store everything in there, okay? So part of the E, you might say, hey, I've got quite a large family. What can I sleep so far? Well, so far we've got two, four, six, okay? So now we open this up. What do we have here? Huh, two bunks. So you can sleep two more. So now we're up to 10. If my math is correct. Or no, we're up to eight. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, you might say, well, hey, Mr. RV Whisperer, you know, I don't need a bunk. Well, we've thought of that also. Okay, so you just take this. You can fold this up and look at this. Take this mattress out. Just use it as a closet multi-purpose everything okay so you just don't have to sleep you can use it for everything okay so we're in there you also notice the tile floor which we went over is heated this is the first of your bathrooms right here which you have two full baths it's a five one piece fiberglass tub and shower surround and it does have the shower meister in there for you so what does the shower meister do for me shower meister will take from your fresh water to your hot water tank and rotate it you turn it on, it gets to the desired temperature you set it at here. This will change colors and let you know that, hey, the water is ready to go. So that way you're not wasting your fresh water and you're not wasting any of your gray water capacity as well. Okay. See, you got plenty of height in here. You do have a skylight up above you as well. Okay. Your porcelain stool with the foot flush. Corian countertop again in this bathroom. Here's your medicine cabinet right here. Okay. This will tell you where you got all of your parts right here. Okay, so if you're wondering, again, the day night shades all the way throughout. This is also the emergency exit. Okay, and here you have where your heat can come in and your air conditioning can come in. And you also have the three speed fantastic fan. Okay, here's a place where you can hold your towels and then turn your water pump on, your fan up and down on and turn on your lights right there for you okay then you do have a little pocket door right here okay so now we're back here in to the master bedroom 
Okay, first of all, you do have a pocket door, so that way you can have some privacy right in there. Okay, we've got the bed tilted up, just gives you more room right here, or if the end of the day you wanna sit and you wanna watch some TV, tilt your bed up, and then you've got it right there. Okay, you have nightstands on either side, and you do have plug-ins on both sides for you as well. Okay, and here, we do have a little storage compartment right here, okay? Then, you have some storage right there. Look at how deep that is. You do have a plug-in right there, okay? You do have some more storage here, okay? Again, another little storage compartment right there. Some more storage right there, okay? Here you do have your bedroom TV, which we mentioned earlier, which does open up. So we have some more storage back behind that. Oh, I forgot to add the TV. So up in the front, I think we were at 20, or actually 29, because we had storage behind the TV, okay? There we have some drawers right there. Drawer 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 right there. Okay. Some more hanging space here. Some more hanging space there, okay? So... Just in the bedroom, what do we have? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 doors and drawers. Just in here. So combined, we've got what? If my math is right, 43 doors and drawers plus all of your storage compartments underneath. So now we're in the back master bathroom. Okay, then back here, you do have your washer and dryer right here. Okay, so we can do your laundry when you're out on the road. Here you have some more storage, porcelain stool again here, which this has the flush right here, and this does have the macerator on it, okay? So the macerator just makes it, uh, takes down the waste level for you, okay? Then here you have your shower door right here, another full shower, okay? The nice little seat right there, okay? Whoops. And then here we have some more storage. Some more storage here. Bathroom sink, your medicine cabinet with your mirror so you can see absolutely how beautiful you are. And then your fantastic fan back here in the back. Okay, so our 2024 40E. How can you find us? Well, we're at m60rv.com. You can call us on the phone. Or if you wanna come see us in person, come right down m60rv turn in just say hello we'd be more than happy to show this to you the 40e what's the e stand for again everything it's got everything you could want or you could need plus another very very important feature is it's under 100 miles one of the only places in the country you can get that done lazy places don't have that worlds don't have it inns don't have it only right here at m60 rv we have a couple of sayings we like to do the great outdoors for less, and we also like for you to come in as a stranger and leave as a friend. Just as a little history from the past of this dealership, at one point at the dealership we were at before, we were the number one Berkshire dealer in the whole country. How did we start? We started out with one. That's what we have now. We have one, and we want to build ourselves to being the number one Berkshire dealer in the country because we want to take care of you and your family and allow you guys to see this great country of ours. If you're still here, thanks for watching.